Hi, and welcome back to Craft Fairy Blush. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this pretty fast relief botanical art using air dry clay and plaster of Paris. It's easy, and I think you're going to love it. So let's get started. I found most of the materials at the dollar store, but of course, any craft store will have them as well. I picked up this little plaster kit because I knew it will contain it would contain plaster of Paris. Uh, some air dry clay. I picked up a frame. I also picked up this little mat because I want to make sure that the clay doesn't stick to the surface. You uh, can use parchment paper or plastic. You're also going to need some foliage. I rolled out the clay and uh, used a rolling pin. And again, I'm doing it on top of this mat. Uh, you can do it on top of plastic or even a cloth. The point is that you want to make sure that the clay does not stick to the surface, that it's easily removable from the surface. So I took the frame and just quickly marked around it. And just this just gives me an idea of the area that I have to use. Once I marked the area, I simply just cut around the excess clay. Uh, and this is just for a cleaner working area. So now it's time to start placing our foliage. And for this, I added a little bit of olive oil onto the clay and uh, simply because this will help lift the foliage a lot easier uh, once we're done. Now this is the part where you get creative and just place your flowers or foliage any way you want onto the clay and, and just firmly press it down and then you're going to take the rolling pin and roll, gently roll over your foliage just like that. It doesn't need to be very deep, you can just make sure that everything is pressed down into the clay just like that now i'm going back and adding a couple of leaves here and there and this just helps the composition of the piece I'm going to start removing all the leaves and I do this using uh, tweezers uh, and this helps the process when you have small little pieces. You're just going to pick every little piece off the clay and again um, it doesn't have to be very deep because as you will see the plaster goes into all the little crevices. For this particular piece, I'm going to use the frame as part of the sculpture. Um, and so I'm going to press the frame deep into the clay. However, if you wanted to use the frame just as a mold, um, I would usually apply some olive oil around the edges where the clay and the plaster will meet. And that way, when it's time to remove it, uh, it won't get stuck or it'll be a little bit easier to remove from the frame. Now we're going to mix the plaster and of course you can use the directions on the box but the consistency that I like to use for this particular purpose is um, the consistency of pancake batter. Now you're going to pour the plaster into your frame and you want to make sure you get every little corner and depending on how thick you want your piece to be that's how much plaster obviously you're going to pour on there once you have your plaster on there i like to just kind of shake it a little bit just to get all the air bubbles to the surface and that's also why i like to use the little mat because i can easily move the clay around and not have to worry about it sticking to the counter or the surface. You're now going to set this aside for 
to 24 hours, the plaster itself dries fairly quickly. Uh, but just to prevent any cracks or anything like that, I like to let it sit for about a day or so. Now what we're going to do is we are going to lift the entire frame and slowly peel the clay away from the plaster. So you're slowly going to peel it off and then you can see how pretty you are left with this beautiful cast relief. Um, I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see. Now you'll notice that there is a little bit of clay um, in, that, the, in some areas. So I went and I picked them off with the tweezers. Um, it's actually not that important because um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clean it off with a little bit of water just to get all that extra clay off. Um, and then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to paint it white. And once I do that, you won't be able to see uh, the clay. And, or you can leave it just like that. It's up to you. I actually do like the color of, um, I like the dirty, worn out plaster look, but the white also makes it pop really nicely. So here is what we're left with and it's a closer look so you can see how pretty that is. And I like how the frame is part of the piece. And here's another one that I did and I added a little bit of twine in the back so you could hang it. This one is very thin because I, obviously I didn't use a lot of plaster as well as I used the clay itself as the mold instead of Frame. So it's a little bit more um, organic and raw around the edges. I also used um, some heart-shaped cookie cutters to make these cute little ornaments for Valentine's Day. And I think they would make such beautiful little gift tags as well. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little project as much as I did. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.